like all of these pieces are are cast and cut up and then fabricated. Jack and course, Jensen may be an engineer by here, trade, but he is an artist that. through and through. I guess I have a, a lifetime of uh, looking at things in a sort of a critical way. I, I look at things sort of how they're put together um, and this, this sort of thing. So I, I, I look at things very carefully. So I probably have a, a quite a, a storage in my mind of images and then I just call them out as, uh, as the opportunity presents itself. Those images are represented in his paintings, bronze sculptures, and cast paper sculptures, an art form he's been perfecting since 1996. I took a couple of um, paper making classes in 1996, and it was me and I think five women, and they, they just seemed to seem that making paper was sort of the end process, and to me, it just didn't seem like that was enough. So I, uh, I had some molds for uh, my bronze work, and so I tried making paper and casting it into them, and uh, found out that it worked to to some extent, and just had to modify my process to uh, accommodate paper. And uh, and I started working in it and discovering the problems and working my way through them. In an art studio in the basement of his home, Jensen creates unique artwork that begins by making his own paper. I'll probably make 30 sheets at a time, something like that. Then he models in plasticine, makes a flexible mold off the plasticine model, then a plaster mold to support the flexible one. There's a lot of process to uh, cast paper work. It, I've, I paint as well, but uh, I find painting is it's very straightforward and I'm a, an engineer by profession. It's kind of like a problem solving profession and I've kind of carried that into my artwork. Finally, he pats the fiber into the flexible mold, dries it, peels the paper out and assembles the piece if there are multiple parts before he mounts it. Uh, this is my most recent piece. I just finished gluing it onto the uh, mirror this morning. Jensen was commissioned to make this rose hips piece by a woman in Winnipeg who saw his work at an art show. With commissions, you're always trying to trying to duplicate something that is in somebody else's head, and uh, so for that reason, it's a it's a bit limiting. You know, I like to do things that are coming out of my own head, and uh, often they don't look exactly as I am imagining them to be. But at least uh, I know where I've started and where it has ended, and it, that's. A little, a little more difficult when you're when you're dealing with uh, a customer. Jensen's cast paper sculptures can be drastically different by design and topic, from a prairie wife hanging clothes in the breeze to a barrel of apples. I think I, I put a, a different finish to my work. Like I, if I like the apples in the background, they have to look like apples, and. Uh, so actually I modeled probably eight apples to do that and because uh, apples have stems, well then I made, had to make stems for them and, uh, and then I painted the ball individually so that they each looked like an individual apple even though they were out of uh, only nine different molds. Among his favorite pieces is this submission to the city of Regina to mark its 100th anniversary. Jensen's print depicts a story about a horse stable damaged by the Regina cyclone, a tornado that devastated the city in 1912. I really quite like this piece, lots of movement to it. You know, the, the subject is right in the middle here and lines kind of lead you to it. And, um, and apparently the um, the people that were tasked with uh, reviewing all the entries, they, they thought long and hard about this one, and, but finally did not um, shortlist it. And I thought the piece was really too good to just stop at that point, and so I tripled it in height and tripled it in width and uh, modeled it up in plasticine, and I cast it as a piece. While Jensen prefers cast paper sculpting, it is his work in creating bronze sculptures for which he's best known. Uh, paper sculpture is better in that you can do it right in your house and if you get paper on yourself then you just let it dry and just brush it off and that's the end of it whereas with uh, bronze you have to take it to a foundry and someone else who uh, doesn't mind working with 2000 degree molten metal 
we'll uh, do the casting and this sort of thing. And so I, I actually prefer working in paper just because I'm in control of the process from end to end and you can do it right at home. Still, the results of his bronze work's success include many large-scale public sculptures, including this one at Prime Minister's Park in Prince Albert. He also created this sculpture at St. Joseph's Church. And this piece, The Big Save, is a familiar sight in the Johnny Bauer Lounge at the Art Hauser Centre. I know people appreciate my work because they, uh, they tell me so, and some will purchase it, which is a, a, a compliment but I would still be creating artwork whether people were buying it or not. It uh, just gets to the point where when you have a house full of art, well then you really want to get pieces out because you have all these extra pieces that you still have in your mind that you want to make. And for them to come out, they have to have a place that they can, they can be shown. Jack Jensen's work can be found in various galleries and businesses throughout Prince Albert and the nation. For a peek at his gallery, you can also visit www.jensenart.ca.